I've released enough physical resistance that I have a lot of really fun things happening, which is great. And I know you talk about that a lot, just letting things be, because you put so much into the vortex already. But we want to add to that. Just let things be. Ready? Because you've got no choice. <laughs> you don't control the world. Might as well let things be. But a lot of you think, I'm not here to let things be. I'm here to make the world a better place. How do you make the world a better place? By the things that be causing you to ask for something different. And when you get billions of people observing the things that be and they ask for something different, don't you think you're creating a different world? Don't you? Don't you? You talk about focusing on what you want. And I have a confusion about, well, do you need to do that? Or can you just let things be? Well, you make a really good point. The best answer is, as long as you're not focusing in opposition to what you want, you're good. But an expanded, even better version of that best answer is once you've got that down so that you are consistently focusing in the direction of what you want to focus with specifics on what you want is way fun. It's quite enough to just not push against what you don't want. That's really a powerful first step because when you give up the resistance and you just let the good be, then good happens around you. But being the deliberate creators that you are, once good starts flowing, we know you, you're going to want to focus with detail. You want to get in on it. You're going to want to say, I would like it to be this way and then watch it morph to that. You see the universe will stand on its head and deliver to you whatever you want as long as you're not demanding that somebody else be different the universe will not say we'll make your world better by changing some other deliberate creator into something to please you are you listening to this source is an equal opportunity creator uplifter supporter and source will not take a side against anyone to support you that's not how source works. That's not how love works. There's no pushing against. There's no assertion. There's only attraction. So source will support every good feeling notion that you have. And when you line up with every good feeling notion that you have, the universe will be abundant with beauty and bliss and eagerness and fun for you, you see. But in the moment that you ask source to do one thing in opposition to one other, you're going to run into a roadblock because source does not do that. Source does not push against anyone or anything. Source follows the route of what you have stirred up and requested. Can you get that? Can you feel worthy enough to hear that? Can you feel whole enough to know that you get to choose and so does everyone else? But there's something in the human mind that says, I get to choose. 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 Not you, not you, not you, not you. Me, 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 me. I get to choose. No, everyone gets to choose and everyone is choosing and everyone to some degree or another is allowing what they've chosen to come in. And when you witness someone who's done a lot of choosing, who's really blocked off, you call them strong desire, but not alignment and not inspired and not coming from love and not coming from source.